So what is good y'all? It's your boy Legendary EA back here for another historic rebuild. Now this week I haven't really been doing that many rebuilds, but I will start to get back on those if you guys are enjoying them. So for another one of these historic ones, let's get 350 likes for another one y'all. And I know you guys can do it because you guys are the best fans on the tube, bro. No bullshit. You guys, you guys, you guys are the best fans. No BS. But anyways, y'all, shout out to James Harden in the comment section. I will go ahead and post his comment right there and his PSN in because he made this fire 2013 roster. Shout out to him. He used to make six rings of steals ones on Xbox apparently, but now he's on PS4. So he had to hook your boy up. So shout out to you once again. The roster looks like it's flames and... There's no superstars in free agency, which I really, really like. So once again, shout out to him. I really do appreciate it, y'all. And other than that, y'all, we are doing my hometown team. You guys, you guys already know that my two favorite teams is Minnesota and Houston. I live in Houston. I've been in Houston for a long time. I read both the teams that I actually got to watch play. The Timberwolves. This was the last year that we actually had Kevin Love. And I plan on keeping Kevin Love because this is the time that he was actually a beast. Yeah, Love was damn near unstoppable at this point in his career, y'all. And this is the team that we will be working with. 92 overall, Kevin Love. Nikola Pekovic is still here. Kevin Martin, Rubio, and all those guys. Now, I still plan on making a run at Carl Anthony Towns. But this will be a two-year rebuild because I am recording this Friday, March 10th. All the videos that you guys have seen this entire week have been pre-recorded. And they're all, they've all been bangers, in my opinion. I actually took time to actually put, to actually put them together, y'all. So, hope you guys have been enjoying those videos. But this is what we got right here. We, we got the bust himself, Derek Williams, still. Uh, but let's just see if we can make any moves, y'all. I'm not really trying to win a, a lot of games this year. So, yo, this is a roster. This is a lineup. And, yo, honestly, let's just see what this team can do because I'm not even really trying to win like that. So we are actually sitting at 10 and 15. I do want to make a couple trades just to make this team a little bit worse. Uh, Pekovic. Yeah, how, wait, how much, what's the cap looking like? We got 21 mil. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and let's trade you because I do want to be in that LeBron James sweet, sweepstakes. So let's trade you and anybody else on this team. I uh, Kevin Martin might be the one to go. Nah, let's, let, let's keep Kevin Martin, but let's trade Pekovic and a second round pick. I'm going to do that trade. And hopefully Dion can just stink it up. Ajinka's 24. It's honestly all the same. We're still going to be getting a first-round pick out of it. So, yo, that's the only move that we're making right now, y'all. Hopefully, this team can go ahead and lose some more games. And how good is Kevin Love doing right now in the middle of the season? Double-double machine. I miss this old Kevin Love. So, we will be doing this trade. I didn't realize that we don't have our pick. So, honestly, it's just it's just, it's just swapping picks. The New Orleans can have their pick. Or how, 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 how's that team anyways? I, I really don't care, but I'm trying to... All right, that team would probably have been bad. But, yo, let's just go ahead and let's get back to what we were doing. And hopefully we can just go ahead and lose some more games. And at the end of season number one, LeBron goes ahead and he wins the MVP, which was his final season in Miami. Almost put up a triple-double. Giannis Antetokounmpo's rookie of the year. Mason Plumlee, D LeBron is also the defense player of the year. Ty Lawson's most improved. Coach goes to Eric Spolster as Miami goes 65-17. and 17. So did Kevin Love make any of these teams? Unfortunately, oh, he's all NBA second team. All right, that's what's up. Did we get anybody else? Gordy Ding is all rookie second team. So we finished off with the 15th seed, and it looks like those moves helped us out. Uh, I'm so happy that we kept our pick. We had the worst record in the NBA, highest odds. Love with 24, 14 rebounds, and one and a half blocks. Yo, this Kevin Love was nasty. But let's get through the NBA playoffs. Miami's probably going to go ahead and win the entire thing. So let's just get through it. And somehow Brooklyn's in the playoffs. Really 2K? And yeah, they, they go ahead and they and they get themselves a dub. So heading into the draft lottery, we have the highest odds at the number one overall pick. So let's see who, who's going to go ahead and, and get it. And of course, we end up with, with, with number four. So heading into the NBA draft, we have the fourth overall pick, but I am going into win now mode. So that fourth pick in Corey Brewer, DeAndre Jordan, and Jamal Crawford. Hmm. Jamal's kind of getting up there in age, buddy, so... It might be a no from me, dog. Uh, these offers are all, like, terrible. All right. Who's out there? And who, did we scout anybody good? Wiggins is a 79. And that's the only one. All right. So, I'm going to go after Andrew Wiggins. So, we're trading away Corey Brewer and the 
fourth overall pick for Wiggins, and that's it. Other than that, I do want to see if I can move some of these scrubs off the team. Rookie Rubio, I'm, I'm going to keep him on. I'm going to keep him on as as a backup. Chase Budinger, I'm not going through. I'm not going to be going through that again. So two second round picks. That's a bet. Let's hop into free agency, and I'm trying to go after Braun. We can get Braun. We can get Wade. We can get Millsap in his prime. We have options here. Somehow, Dion Waiters, it, we don't have bird rights. Wow. But JJ Barea, I do want to bring him back. All these other guys can go ahead and walk. We really don't care. But let's see if we can make any moves and win a championship. And Blake Griffin is here. Hold on. Hold on. But he declined. Damn, Blake. And on day three, we are able to pick up Paul Millsap. We can't sign anybody else. But, I mean, Paul Millsap, he's a good trade piece because he's probably not going to be staying on this team. Uh, and let's find if any old people want to ring chase like Ray Ray. So... I'm down to actually do this trade. Paul Millsap, two second round picks, and Andre Miller for a young Jimmy Butler and Joakim Noah. All right, so we struck out on free agency. We've taken a lot of L's, but we have a solid front court. Uh, let's trade. Let's trade. Let's trade rookie. He. Let's trade rookie. He. He should have been traded. And with this trade, I could upgrade to Kemba Walker, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Y'all wanna throw in Al Jefferson at all? At all, at all, at all. Um, uh, not for Joe Kim though. Hell no. All right, let's take the original trade. <clears throat> Ricky Rubio first, a second, Alex Jinka for Kemba and a first round pick. This team is in a whole lot better shape, but let's see if we can make any moves at the start of season number two. And this is our lineup for season number two. It's Kemba Walker, Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, Kevin Love, and Joakim Noah. So we are very, very top heavy. Now I do want to see if I can make any types of moves here to make this team a little bit better. But right now I just don't know. I mean, I like Wiggins, but I'm trying to win right now. So if we can make a trade for him, that would be awesome. So we couldn't make any types of trades, but this is the lineup that we will be rocking with for season number two. And let's see if we can go ahead and at least compete for a playoff spot because right now i really don't know how this team is going to do and at the end of season number two lebron went to mvp yo this team did better than i thought it actually would jabari parker is rookie of the year on the hornets now um Kawhi is deepest player of the year and coach goes to eric spolcher as the miami he goes 61 and 21 they, they they won four more games than us uh the, the, the team is stacked joakim noah is all nba second team kevin love is all nba third team but those guys pretty much carried us. They they both make all defensive first and second team. And Wiggins is all rookie first team. So we still picked up Wiggins in this scenario. Of course, this time he's drafted by Cleveland. We finished four games behind the Oklahoma City Thunder and two games behind the Golden State Warriors. And I want to see if this team can actually compete, y'all. I want to see if this team can compete. Love led us to scoring with 22 points a game. Wiggins with 16. Okay. Let's see if we can actually make a run so round one we're taking on the houston rockets we take game one they take game two we take game three they take game four they take game five please don't lose right now please come on y'all compete and right now it's not looking too hot for us so after that loss we will be going for another season one more season a third season like i normally do you guys and let's see if we can actually make this happen with this squad because truth be told we we have the right playmakers i mean i mean jimmy butler and wiggins are obviously going to be developing this offseason and hopefully these guys can turn into some beast and let's see what we can do all right i don't, I don't think we might not even have our picks to be honest so we don't have our draft pick you guys but i do want to see what we can do with this team all right um we don't have any draft picks so we're good right there no rookies team player options jimmy really wait what i, I don't why is he why is he even a free agent that doesn't even make sense to me those guys are restricted all right we have bird rights on him at least but still like we shouldn't even have to be paying him at this point in time all right let's let's just give him the max that we can give him so that he doesn't even leave us um i plan on bringing back in bottom mute we're gonna bring back gorgie dang and dante cunningham all right now let's hop into free agency and let's see who we can pick up and after day two of free agency we are able to sign Carmelo Anthony to an offer. We missed out on all these other guys, but yo, bringing in Melo is going to be huge for us. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's going to be huge. We also missed out on Gorgie Dang, but it's really whatever. We, we still got Melo on the team. Now, if James Harden signs with us, that's where things get a little, 
a little sus. I mean, Melo is cool, but if we get hardened, he might be getting traded. And yeah, we get hardened. So, yo, Melo, it's been it's been a nice five seconds, but we're gonna go ahead and trade you into second round picks, and let's see if we can bring in a, another young talent. So, unfortunately, we can't sign James Harden. I can't really find a trade that really helps us out for Carmelo Anthony. Look, I'm just hmm. That's a good one, but Kawhi Leonard. I would do it if Kawhi's about to like blow up, but right now he's not, so we're good. And Dame Dollar, he's just really not worth it. But yo, how about Melo, JJ Barea, and and a first round pick? It's like the exact same offers. But yo, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep Melo, and hopefully he works out for the team. But we're gonna be bringing in Manu Ginobili, Timothy Mozgov, Luke Mbadamute, and Dante Cunningham. So we miss out on him, but looks like James Harden's going to the Hawks. But once again, any old people want to ring chase. So this is our lineup for season number three. But they want to start Wiggins. Hold on. If we, we if we start in Wiggins, why do we even have Melo? Yo, y'all better not tell me I missed out on James Harden for somebody who's not who's not even gonna start. Come on right now. Really? Melo should obviously start, even though Wiggins is nice. Uh, all right, let's do this. Wiggins is in the play 34 off the bench. Melo's in the play 35. By the Mute. These minutes going to be going down for y'all. I, I want Jimmy to be getting out there. Kemba out there. All right. Let's try. Let's try this out. All right. Let's see what this team can actually do. So, for season number two, we got Kemba, Jimmy. But I, I do want to see if I can... Trade JJ Barea and two first and pick up a better backup point guard or even a starter. Who knows? So, with this next trade, we will be sending Muhammad two first round picks over to the Jazz for Derek Favors and a first round pick. I do want to try to get Gordon Hayward. I probably can't, though. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen, but um, yeah, let's just go ahead and, and let's accept that trade. It's simply a trade just for us to improve our bench. Yeah, these trades are garbage, but let's just see what this team can do at the end of season number three. And I definitely think that it's good enough to win a championship. And at the end of season number three, LeBron is the MVP. Marcus Hunt is rookie of the year. Bledsoe, sixth man of the year. Kawhi, again, is defensive player of the year. Gobert is most improved. And Coach Zia goes to the Knicks because they went 56 and 26. But other than that, did anybody from our team make any of the All NBA teams? Melo or no one at all? Yo, we for real had no one on any of these teams, but yeah, we, we had no one. But we finished as the first seed in the Western Conference, and we pretty much steamrolled through, through everybody. We beat the Houston Rockets by two games. They, I guess they added Paul George, and they still got Dwight and Tristan Thompson. Okay, it's not a bad team, but it ain't that great either. But that's still an interesting team, and we were led in points by Andrew Wiggins because this year he had a breakout year, putting up 19 points a game. Melo only dropped 16. Level is 17. It's still a double-double, but y'all, come on. All right, but let's just, why are they, they, they really want to start Wiggins. Like, they just really, really want to. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to chill out because we trying to win a championship here. Now, let's see what we can do in the NBA playoffs. All right, so round one, we're taking on the Phoenix Suns. They really shouldn't be a problem to us, I would hope. And they're not because they get swept really, really fast up against the Clippers. They take game one, we take game two. We say game three, we say game four, and we advance. All right, and we're playing Houston. All right, this should be interesting. So, Melo is balling for us now that we fixed those minutes. Wiggins is still doing what he does best, but just not as much. Uh, and the Rockets, their leading scorer is obviously going to be Paul George. All right, let's see what we can do, though. Let's see what we can possibly do. I mean, their team is nice. I'm not going to try to play them. Like, they have a solid team with PG. D12 and you know Tristan Thompson but really this team should be able to beat them like it, it really should we got prime mellow prime love a prime Joe Keep Noah when he was actually good Kemba Walker Wiggins Butler yeah GG but anyways they take game one we take game two we take game three they take game four they take game five. Oh no no guys come on y'all have to step up I'm gonna need y'all to just ball out, please. Come on, y'all. Do do something spectacular and just force a game seven. Right here. Force a game seven. Oh uh, man, we get Yeah, it's not it's not happening. Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. And 
looks like that fourth season was pretty much a waste of time. PG dropped 48. Oh my. I don't know how the hell he did that. But Houston goes on and they win the NBA championship. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a like. Just, just like I said before, y'all. And yo, just keep showing that support. Keep showing that love. And I really do appreciate it. We are on that grind for 30K. And a matter of fact, we're on that grind for 100K. So let's see if we can actually go ahead and do that. But our final roster was Prime Kevin Love, Prime Melo, Prime Joakim Noah. We got Kemba Walker. Andrew Wiggins, who we took with the first overall pick, or, or we traded for first overall pick, Jimmy Butler, Derek Favors, JJ Barea, Timothy Mozgov, Luckin by the Mute, Manu Ginobili, six man, Dante Cunningham, and Tyshawn Prince. And this team somehow we got beat by Houston. I don't know. Random stuff in 2K happens. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, y'all, let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below and go ahead and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video and like like i said before but other than that i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace y'all